Dang, check out this sky. Gorgeous. Different uh, exposures. It's better on the lower ones. Woo wee! That is so pretty. Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about something that happened kind of spontaneously today, tonight actually. Um, I was not really expecting this necessarily, but at the same time, I do kind of expect this in Nebraska. We tend to have some pretty spectacular sunrises and sunsets, at least in my opinion. I've only lived here my whole life, so it's the only thing I have to go off of. But I believe there's other beautiful sunrises all around the world. So what happened was my wife went on a walk and uh, it's dinner time. I'm trying to get the kids ready for dinner. I can see kind of out the windows that the color of the outside is kind of pinkish. And I start to get excited because I'm assuming it's gonna look really beautiful out. So I look out my front window um, towards kind of the west, southwest, and of course it's an absolutely beautiful sunset. So I kick into gear and I'm like, okay, I gotta make a video, this is gonna be perfect. I'm gonna make a sunset how-to video, kind of. <laughs> So there's plenty of videos on YouTube uh, to you know, learn how to make a time lapse. Um, I was just grabbing my Canon 80D and inside it has, or in the settings, there's a built-in time lapse feature for both uh, the video and the picture side of things. So there's actually, they're both the same principles really, but to not get too into it, um, basically it will take pictures every interval you set. So let's say you want a picture every second for a set amount of time, maybe a, a picture every second for a minute. And you play it back and it's probably pretty, pretty fast. Or let's draw it out even more so a sunset might take 10 to 15 minutes maybe. And you want to take, maybe you want to take a picture every second, maybe you want to take one every two or three seconds. Uh, or five seconds, and then you'll see more happen. Uh, well, the more time in between a shot, the less you'll see over time, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So it'll be a little more jumpy, it won't be quite as smooth. Um, but if you take more pictures, then it's, I don't know, it's different. It's just different. So experiment with it uh, if you can with time lapse stuff. Um, obviously sunset and sunrise happens every day, so you could experiment with it every day with that or pick a different subject, whatever you want. So here in the menu, let me go back actually. It's under the, I'm in video mode, manual on the dial and camera tab, tab number five for me, unless you've customized your menus at all. Time-lapse movie, enable it. Okay, and then you click info to set the interval. So this is what I was saying about how many, how much seconds or minutes or hours in between each shot, basically. And in this case, it's video. So it's basically making a motion JPEG. So it's doing the same thing that it would do if you were in camera mode, having it take, you know, actually click the shutter every two seconds. So you, if it was in photo mode, you would hear it snapping the pictures every two seconds. Um, in video mode, it's basically doing the same thing, but you won't hear your shutter clicking every two seconds. So it's basically building your time lapse as you go, similar to how our smartphones do it. So there's, my iPhone has a time lapse feature in it as well. It does basically the same thing. And then um, pick the number of shots you want. So a hundred shots every two seconds will turn into, it'll take three minutes to complete, three minutes and 18 seconds, and when it's done, it'll be a three second video. So, can't remember exactly what I have, this is a different camera, so it wasn't quite the same, but it was about something similar to this. So every three seconds, about 300 shots, supposed to take about 15 minutes, and it would have been about a 10 second video. Click OK. And then you go back into your thing, it gives you some instructions on what to do. Basically what you can do is you can fully press your shutter button up front to take a test shot and make sure your exposure is correct for how you want it to be. 
keeping in mind in this case for uh, sunset you're going to be losing light as time goes on so you may want to overexpose initially expecting it to get darker um, as time goes on or you might want to start with it darker who knows so again that's something you kind of need to experiment with and learn what your preferences are um, stuff like that when you're ready you just press the start stop button once to get it ready and then you'll press the shutter button again to start it basically um, so that's it so if you press this then you press the shutter button it'll black out the screen and you can see a countdown on the top here you'll be able to see how much time is left uh, before it's done you could always stop it early if it's if you know that what you're filming is not exciting anymore like it's dark and the color of the clouds is gone or whatever you can just press stop and it'll finish it early before those 300 shots or however much time is done okay so here is my result keeping in mind that I was scrambling uh, I had all three of my kids to myself at the time because like I said my wife went on a walk and um, we have a little baby but yeah, it was fun. It was fun. It was short. I knocked over my tripod because I was trying to do an Instagram story of what I was doing and it ruined it a couple, like, couple minutes into it basically. So it's really not a perfect or pretty time lapse at all. So sorry to let you down, but it is what it is and it turned into some fun content tonight. So hope you enjoy. Hope you learned something about making a time lapse. If you happen to have a Canon camera or something similar that has a built-in time lapse feature, uh, I challenge you to experiment with it. Um, comment of the day, question of the day, let me know if you've ever done a time lapse. If you like to do time lapses, um, what do you like to take time lapses of? Like I said, my favorite is definitely the sky, clouds, sunrises, sunsets, stuff like that. Um, I used to have a bunch of videos, they're all unlisted in private here on my YouTube channel of just all these random sunrises and sunsets via time lapse. and. Um, I decided to take them down. I like them, but they're kind of cluttering up my, my YouTube uh, channel, even though they were hidden. But anyways, let me know below what you like to do. Um, love to hear what you guys like to do time lapse. And if you learned something, hit the like button. Let me know if you liked learning stuff like that. And um, I love to teach, and I will probably teach some more stuff like this in the future. All right, see you tomorrow.